On September 27, 2017, Baltimore State's attorney Marilyn J. Mosby's office admitted to 864 cases being reviewed after four separate allegations of police misconduct and body camera tampering led to the incident of eight police officers being indicted. After full investigations, 338 cases had to be dismissed. The eight officers who were on Baltimore's gun trace task force were convicted for racketeering, robbery, extortion, and overtime fraud. The officers admitted to flaunting and abusing their power for almost 10 years, using their badges to commit crimes. They stole drugs and money. Members pled guilty to robbing citizens during street and traffic stops, making illegal searches in people's homes, planting evidence and providing false affidavits and police reports to further their crimes. In some cases, the group made arrests based on bogus charges that resulted in people being sent to jail for years. The eight GTTF members were sentenced to a combined 112 years in prison. The heaviest sentence was given to former Sergeant Wayne Jenkins, a leader on the tax force. The 41-year-old is serving a 25-year sentence in a low-security prison in Ashland, Kentucky. His release date is in 2038. Gun Trace Task Force, former Detective Daniel Hersel, is serving an 18-year sen- sentence. The 52-year-old is in a medical prison in Springfield, Missouri. His release date is 2032. Former Detective Marcus Taylor is also serving 18 years. 35-year-old is in a sl- low-security prison in Forest City, Arkansas. His release date is 2032. Former Sergeant Thomas Allers is serving a 15-year sentence. The 53-year-old is in a low-security prison in Sumterville, Florida. His release date is 2030. Former Detective Jamel Rayum is serving 12 years. The 41-year-old is in a medical prison in Rochester, Minnesota. He's set to be released in 2027. Former Detective Mamadou Gondo is serving 10 years. The 39-year-old is in a low-security prison in Butner, North Carolina. His release date is 2025. Former Detective Evodio Hendricks was sentenced to 7 years. The 31-year-old was just released in February 2022. Also released is former Detective Maurice Ward. The 40-year-old was also sentenced to 7 years and was released in February 2022. The last two men are now on 3 years supervised release. The fallout from this continues to this day. A total of 13 officers have been charged, and the Baltimore City State's Attorney's Office said almost 2,000 other arrests and cases were affected.